I'm Margaret Hedeman. I'm presenting Hurricane Andrew, which occurred in 1992. So Hurricane Andrew was best known for its really, really high winds. Um, the maximum winds were around 175. I think it reached 177 at one point when it was about to hit Florida. Um, it was the first most costly hurricane at its time, but now it's the fifth. Um, it was very fast moving, but there was not a lot of rainfall. So this is the path of Hurricane Andrew. It started in the Mid-Atlantic Ocean as a tropical depression. It stayed there for about a week or so, just moving along slowly in the Atlantic until it reached some warmer waters and the latent heat increased the speed of the hurricane and size of the hurricane. Um, then it went over to Florida, which it reached a category four and eventually a category five. The most damages were made in Florida and then Louisiana, as you can see over here. Um, it slowed down when it reached Florida because it went over land. And typically a hurricane slow down over land because they don't have as much fuel. So this is a picture of the anatomy of the hurricane. As you can see, these arrows are pointing toward the outflow um, in a clockwise direction. The eye was 10 miles an hour, or 10 miles wide. And this is a picture of the eye and the eye wall is around there. So the accuracy of the forecast, this is a picture of early on, I think August 16th, um, it was predicted, it, they didn't really know where it was going to be. So they had predictions going up and going actually where it went. Um, and the reason for this is because in 1992, they had fewer tools and their tracking devices were limited. During this hurricane, um, there were 1.25 million evacuations and 1.2 million evacuations in Florida and Louisiana um, and 250,000 in Texas. Uh, 65 casualties and most of the destruction, as you can see in this picture, was because of wind. Another thing that made this hurricane unique was that um, it was very early on in the season. It started in August, so it was very interesting because usually hurricanes this of this caliber don't start that early. So another thing that was interesting about Hurricane Andrew is that it prompted the Federal Emergency Management Agency to make big changes because there was so much damage. Um, they had to improve building regulations, had more evacuations, um, increased land use planning, so where they were going to build things, and more advances in technology. I'm Margaret Hedeman. Thank you for watching.